Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting started. The championships are here. We're going to be seeing the third and fourth place matches coming up. For the best of EU, Server Miller. I've got my co-caster here with me, Cedric TV. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. How are you doing? I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's going to happen in tonight's match. I hope you guys are too. And we are seeing a lot of the team members inside, as usual. We see a little better though. And for ga five galaxies, nice. In my opener here, we got Fromito versus Dig T is about to happen. And the alert timer is going. Fromito is in my position. We're flying out right now. Senior brother row already in the front. Oh my God, everything just loaded in. Here because a monster army in the center right now. This is the biggest air ball in the championship league here tonight. Fromito versus Dig T. I have no idea how any of these players can see each other if they are rendering in just like what happened with us in our observer camera. People are dying left and right. Dig T is trying to hold this guy here. If we look on my minimap, it looks like Dig T is winning this. I see a lot of size still in the air. If you're looking at your size on the bottom left and look at mine as well, you're going to see that this is crazy. They're just pumping aircraft over and over again. Coming in from Fermito. Do they have a spawn option for? They have one for the XETCOM and it is on the A point again. Oh my god, Fermito, you he are. He pulled it off the sick. third time. <laughs> no way. It looks like Dig T is going to be owning the skies. This is gonna be a tough situation right now to be in for Fermito. Switching over to Cedric's POV right now, you're getting a chance to see what it looks like to be at Granite Head Reactor, at Skinny, putting in pressure. Dig T's re-securing that point, and it lo looks like they're owning all three points here after you're gonna be re-securing B point. Fermito is right now trying to hold down that Sunder. That's the respawn right now, using Shefka in position with their teammates. Unbelievable fighting right now happening inside of that zone here. Let's give you guys a chance to see what that sounds like. It's getting out of this world, holding down that spot, fighting for their lives. And it's down. Dig T. Looking really strong here, taking down that spawn option. And it looks like Practice 9 is going to try to put down a beacon here. 12 other teammates can spawn here if that beacon can go down, but that beacon did not go down. One versus two. Oh, and he's dead. We are seeing on the map Nexus Seeker substation is getting captured or start getting captured by Formido. Two minutes left there. And now a bit of George is also flipped. You're seeing more and more Dig T players losing their ESFs, and this is going to be very painful. But taking down that base is very beneficial. Meanwhile, I'm checking out Oof. Nexus Secure Substation. Omido having a strong hold in here. A few people on point. Most of them are upstairs, though. Max units arrived as well. That's going to be a hard one to take down. Wait a second. You're telling me the entire time while Granite Head Reactor was going underway, they sent their troops into Nexus Secure Substation? This is a four-minute base camp. Is that correct? They did, yeah. Dude, unbelievable. 35 seconds remaining. Dig T's going to have to try pushing in. You're seeing in Cedric's POV inside. This is what the outside looks like. All these bolters are just popping in. More and more Dig T players are coming in. 55, 45% population you'll see on the middle left here. Cedric's POV. Max unit still on the point. Now the T coming in, trying to clutch it out. Actually flipping the point now. And Formido is right because they don't have any spawns anymore. Zombies again, but instantly getting cleared. That is incredible. You're going to see all the skeleton icons right now. All of these players will respawn and reposition themselves. Either way, they stand by or they go and defend Hydrophonics compound because that's captured by the T. But they popped in instantly and flipped the point. Formido is owning the point again. Incredible fighting right now happening down below at Hydroponics Compound. Dig T is right now just going to try holding down that zone. We just saw Formido try to do that earlier. If you open up the map here and you'll see Hydroponics Compound is directly connected to Nexus Omega. This is Dig T putting in pressure now, putting in that direct connection. I'm assuming Formido put all of their forces at Bitter Gorge Garrison and we're seeing that happen right now. Let's go stop by and see what that looks like. Bitter Gorge Garrison is underway. Players are going to be trying to stand by on the floor here. Dig T looking really strong, slowing down for Mito's instant capture. That should be in their favor. Dig T is doing a great job holding them down infantry while Shefka is on the floor, coming with a revive. No medics in near sight. Nova Surfer just getting deleted. Oh, sh**. Lagu is just going around, basically just claiming people's lives, and there it is. Nice work coming in from Infinity. Nice snipe. Let's see, lasers go pia pia, and it looks like they have taken him down. 
more and more Dig T players are standing by here. Bitter Gorge Garrison is looking in the favor of Dig T here tonight. Percent population is in the favor of Dig T. Same story is getting told over here. For me, uh, Dig T with the higher percentage now just swapped. For me, with the outside spawns though. No air to ground for them. Galaxy coming in. Dig T gets some reinforcements. But this hash, this hash lightning here is kinda dirty. You can freely shoot onto the point, and the T has to address this at some point. They might have needed to address it, but if you think about it, it doesn't matter. You don't need to deal with it. You have endless revives. It uh, doesn't necessarily slow you down unless if the army comes in at the same time. And it looks like they are doing it. 16 seconds remaining. Nice work. That hash lightning is putting in that work now. This is where it really matters. Every one of these shots are going to put in that pressure. Hopefully not killing their own teammates. And nice work. 14 seconds remaining. Taking back that point. Look at the sky. The sky has an insane amount of air. Trying to stop any more support from Fermito. Dig T showing that presence. You're seeing that presence at Hydroponics. You're seeing that presence at Bitter Gorge Garrison as well. Opening up the map here. And it shows Dig T owns Bitter Gorge Garrison. This is a tough situation to be in for Fermito. Now they are clearly on the defensive. But it looks like Nexus Secure Substation is being hacked. Let's switch over to Cedric's POV. Next to secure substation has some for me to players in it again, but they're getting cleared already. A point is flipped, last man standing. Give me some of the names. Who are the people right now fighting in that 1v1 situation? This is a small battle happening between four Practice players. Practice 9 is dead. No one is alive anymore. Oof. Here, the huge air Looks balls like coming in right now for Fermita. This is going to be huge right now. Slate Canyon Hold is going to see a huge amount of air support. They want to stop down. Senior Brother Row putting in that pressure, moving Fermito into a front line. Stopping any air to ground. Do you see that air coming over to you, Cedric? I do not see any air at my point. They're all flying over to Slat Canyon. Slat Canyon holds seeing a ton of air. If you look at that mini map, these blue icons right now are for Mido, trying to shut down any red sites that are in the sky, shutting down air superiority in this zone. How is this galaxy going to survive here? Skybro is going to get deleted here. Oh my god. Kamato Papa Vanu is going to have to leave. They're getting super focused. Damage is coming from every angle. And it looks like an all-call might be said here. A lot of them are looking for new ESS, but there's two galaxies. Uh, just there we go. Now everybody's putting in that pressure on these two ninja galaxies that were just hanging out together. Just chilling. And there goes Skybro. Skybro is going to get deleted by Fromito. Having to basically retreat inside as fast as he possibly can. Still not getting shut down here, shockingly. And this one single ESF is now the next target for all of this death ball, air, air ball here. It's still in the favor of Dig T in the position here. They shut down any air superiority. Shefka is in position. Sail. Nova. They're going to try pushing in. Here comes that one advance. Let's see that base take over. Fermito is going to try to come inside from all angles. Orbital strike is incoming. Wait a second. That's not the orbital strike we're thinking about. This is orbital strike for Dig T. Dig T is going to shut down something here. Whoa! Oh, it looks like they have shut down their spawn option. Did not want to give him an opportunity. 33 seconds remaining. But it looks like they've made it. They've done it. They did steal rain. And it looks like a, a huge drop from the galaxy coming in. Dig T has secured this point. Nice work coming in. Stopping Fermito from having any more advancement. Ladies and gentlemen, Dig T is, is actually taking... Nexus Omega. They're at Nexus Omega. I was like, where are they? This is crazy. And so here they are. They have, they have hacked this point. They are having more and more of these players. Practice 9. Getting shut down. Getting a chance to see from Cobra's POV. Let's see if he can take down Moog. Moog is down as well. Working together, assisting that target. If Fermito does not basically slow down this base capture, they cannot put pressure on Slate Canyon Hold. And they're going to have to position here. If they decide to do an all call and all of their members decide to jump on Nexus Omega, this is going to be tough. Spawn options are not available for Fermito. They don't have a single Sunder, but it looks like we do see a Sunder on the minimap. This is clearly going to be able to be seen by Fermito on the minimap. If I can see it, Fermito can see it. Oh, now man. One spawn end. Okay, let's get a chance to see Cedric's POV, and you see one spawn end is on the opposite side, and then they have a Sunder on the other side here. They have two spawn options. This is going to be huge for Dig T if they want to continue supporting the zone here. I have another interesting player on my cam. This bolter is legit broken. What? <laughs> this player is clearly going to be taking advantage of this care, uh, this bug right now. He, he doesn't, he doesn't know it though. No, no, fair no, enough, no. I give him that point. He has no idea, but it looks like he's dead, running around just sniping anyone and everyone. How are you going to respond to that? Let's see how he's going to get killed here. And it looks like Charlie has taken him out. Nice work. 
<laughs> nice work, because if he didn't take him down, he could just be sitting there. But he would never know that his character is making that opportunity happen. Look at this amazing display here coming from Skybro Dig T. Trying to defend this box right here. Having that spawn option. Having their players stick their right arm out and then shooting through. This, this vehicle will take zero damage, have unlimited firepower on the spawn point. This is the, what you do when you guys are officially at the top of your game in Planetside 2. How to take advantage of systems like this. When there is zero damage mod modifier onto your arm and you just stick your body out, preventing any of these options from getting shut down here. Romito's going to have to bring air to stop that. Romito trying the armor side right now, but it's not looking good. Vanguard is down. They have a spawn option already spotted by Mech Rider, though. What are the spawn options right now for uh, DT if you want to show me? Spawn options for DT are getting replaced, as it looks like. There is still the Thunder in this corner here. They have quite some beacons, and there's the new spawn end. It's the same guy who puts the spawn end for the third time now in this position. Oh my god. And there's an orbital strike coming. Orbital strike incoming right now. Let's see how Fermito is going to be responding. This is going to be a tough situation, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like some of those max units are going to go down. Oh, oh. Uh, that's going to be painful, ladies and gentlemen. Poe needs to see that spawn option. I don't think Poe sees it. Now Poe sees it. Nice work. One more shot. And it's going to go down. Nice work coming in from Bear and Poe. Shutting down that spawn option. But they do not see this last spawn option right here. This is going to be a tough situation for these players if they do not spawn them in time. Nine seconds remaining, guys. And it's going to be the official countdown. The official win coming up. Three, two, one. GG! Unbelievable! <laughs> Dick T taking it down here tonight. Congratulations to these amazing players. And GG's happening all over the chat. We just got a chance to see who is the official third place for Miller. And Dick T is going to take this one tonight.